Well, simmering chaos at the highest level of the Orleans Parish Sheriff's Office exploded during the controversy over Sheriff Susan Hudson's decision to house 13 top deputies in hotel rooms. Now, they were helping coordinate security during Mardi Gras, and the fallout led to the dismissal of three top members of Hudson's executive team and the resignation of a fourth. Good evening, I'm Sharice Gibson. Devin has the night off. As investigative reporter Mike Perlstein documented previously, turmoil had been brewing deep inside the sheriff's office almost from the time Hudson took office. Now Mike has exclusively obtained a recording of a meeting of top leadership showing how seriously things had eroded. Here's a rare window into that dysfunction and the sheriff's own words. I feel so betrayed, betrayed. you do, the, the, the chaos that is caused, the, the talking about each other, not speaking to each other, not working together, crazy text messages. That is a recording of Sheriff Susan Hudson on March 10th, reading the Riot Act to four of her top executives, legal counsel Graham Bosworth, Chief Financial Officer David Troutenberg, Assistant Sheriff for Governance Perlina Thomas, and Assistant Sheriff and Head of Internal Affairs Kristen Morales. Only weeks earlier, Hudson and her team were being praised as heroes for helping return Mardi Gras parades to their original routes. But when questions were raised about Hudson's decision to pay for hotel rooms for 13 top deputies, some for 11 days and nights, the positive glow turned to questions. By March 24th, those questions caused heads to roll. Bosworth, Troutenberg, and Thomas were fired. Morales chose to resign after a 30-day transition. They can't say they weren't put on notice. You all have amazing, amazing strengths, or you would not be here. But you also have weaknesses, and those weaknesses play out every day. And now they're spilling out and ruining our Mardi Gras even. WWL-TV obtained exclusive records that show within months of her swearing in, things had deteriorated so much that Sheriff Hudson paid a consultant more than $15,000 for services such as conflict mediation for top administrators. A symptom of some profound issues, management issues in the sheriff's office that have been there since day one. Despite mediation, the friction continued. In this internal incident report from January 31st, Troutenberg accused Morales of throwing a bottle of water at him during a training session. An account from a witness, Assistant Sheriff Astrid Bergen, confirmed the blow up, calling it, quote, inappropriate. You are undermining me every day that you do this. Stabbing me in the back every day that you do this. The full picture of the infighting may never be known, but examples of the acrimony surfaced in emails from Troutenberg over the hotel rooms. In one, he wrote, if you are an OPSO employee, you are not eligible to have a paid hotel room, suggesting those top deputies just sleep at the office using mattresses from the sheriff's warehouse. Assistant Sheriff Laura Vizi issued this blistering response, writing, this seems personal and it is frankly creeping me out. We requested an interview with Sheriff Hudson on the shakeup and everything that led to it, but she has yet to respond. But her words of warning on March 10th were loud and clear. I can't deal with the destructive behavior anymore. Just do your jobs. If you can't learn to love each other, then don't. But be cordial, professional, and speak to each other at all times. If you can't do that, I'm gonna walk you out of this office sooner rather than later. While Hudson's words are far from what the public usually hears, the tapes also reveal her determination to carry out the criminal justice reform mission she promised when she ran for sheriff and pulled off the historic upset of incumbent Marlon Gussman. I've made you very powerful people, and this is what you've done to me with it. I'm going to take it back. You have to use it in the same way that I use it, to accomplish our mission our vision, and to live out our values. But just to be clear, Hudson paraphrased this ancient Chinese proverb. When you're digging a grave for your enemy, dig one for yourself. You've dug one for yourselves. I'm done. I'm, I'm done. Mike Perlstein, Eyewitness News. 
In addition to the sheriff, we reached out to the three executives who were fired. While all three have retained attorneys to represent them, only Trottenberg's attorney has commented so far. And in that statement, the attorney asserted the former CFO's status as a whistleblower after, quote, launching an internal financial investigation into the use of those hotel rooms.